Okay, now, this is going to be more of a word problem uh, type, uh, um, you know, basically the same idea, but we need to sort of break down um, uh, the English description of what's happening with this object. Okay, so here we have an object that's moving with constant velocity, all right, from this point at t equals zero. Okay, so this is our initial point. Okay, very important to keep in Keep a track of that. Later, t equals 5, this position is now at p2, and it's at a different place, okay? Now, again, these are describing different uh, uh, vectors, okay? Now, what is the velocity and speed of the object? What is the vector equation that describes the motion of the object? What are the parametric equations that describe the motions, okay? So why don't we start out by figuring out first p1, p2, okay? So this p1 times p2, okay? p1 times p2, right? is simply going to be what? Um, why don't we just do uh, the distance? So basically, it's the distance between these, OK? So I'll start with P2. I'll say negative 7, right, minus 8, right, is its x position, right? 13 minus 3 is its y position. So that simply gives us negative 15 and uh, 10, OK? Now, we know that since that's where it is, um, after five seconds, right, the velocity, right, equals, uh, we're, well, why don't we do this? Or then, then basically if we describe, if we, then we, if we divide it by five, right, then um, this becomes the velocity, okay? So this is, what I'm trying to do is describe the dis direction of this. We know that in five seconds, this is how far it's traveled. So we know the velocity per second, per five seconds, equals this, equals negative 15 over five, and this becomes 10 over five, right? And that gives us negative three, two, okay? This becomes our velocity, right? Okay? We simply took how far it traveled, in what direction it traveled, and divided by the time it took to get there, right? Distance over time. And now we have the velocity. Again, this also describes the direction it goes in. So we have to figure out the magnitude, right? The magnitude of the velocity is simply what? Square root of negative 3 squared plus 2 squared. And that gives us uh, 9 plus 4 equals root 13. OK? So here is our uh, speed, right? This is our speed. And what else do we need to know? What is the vector equation that describes the motion of this object? OK, so what is its initial point? 8, 3. So the vector equation becomes this. Its initial point, 8, 3, right? Plus t times the velocity term, which is negative 3, 2, OK? That becomes our vector equation. Okay, this is our vector equation. And let's see if we're done. What are the parametric equations that describe this motion? Well, simply we can split this up into our components. We simply have x equals 8, right, minus 3t. Okay, I took the x components of this vector equation. y equals 3 plus 2t. Right. These become the parametric equations. Okay, so that's that.